Hi Amanda, I want to make a video for you to help you with the uh, setup position for the sumo deadlifts. So right now you're doing a really good job of foot width. Foot width is great. When we're setting up, you have your hands on the bar, you're kind of getting your breath, and then you're dropping your knees into place and then lifting. But in this position, you do have your shoulders like pulled tight to try to get your lats tight, but our positioning of our rib cage is actually still rounded over. So what's happening is you're going to feel uh, pressure kind of in the bottom inside edge of your shoulder blades, the top of your spinal erectors. So kind of that middle part of the back that we can't touch. You are going to feel that that's kind of open and exposed. So then when you go to lift, you're going to feel pressure in that area a lot. And then as you go to lock out, it almost feels like we're kind of hunched over and you'll find that our higher reps and our heavier weights are gonna feel more mid-back annoyance rather than in our glutes and hips and thighs, which we do want to kind of grow. So in this position, what we can do to improve this is as I have my hands on the bar, I would wanna go ahead and kind of like lift on the bar and you can hear that clicking. So that ensures that I'm tight against the bar. I then want to, as I would drink, bring my hips down by pushing my knees kind of out I want to also think of taking my shoulder blades and pulling them down towards my hips. So if I'm standing in this position, what that would look like is, is that I'm pulling my shoulders down and in. So I'm pulling my shoulder blades down and in. That's gonna cause my chest to lift a little. But if you notice my shoulders aren't coming up, I'm just simply pulling the shoulder blades down and together down and together. So you can practice that just standing, thinking of taking your shoulder shoulders, pulling them back, but down. And in that sensation, as I would set up with that, as I bring my hips down by pushing my knees out, I would want to also pull my shoulders down. And now in this position, I'm in a much straighter, more neutral position in my upper back. So as I push all the stresses in my hips, Rather than if I were to let that pressure go, you can see how that causes like a roundedness and a slack in my upper back. So I want to be here. As I push my knees out, I want to think of pulling my shoulder blades together and down. And now all of a sudden, my chest is in a nice neutral position and I can feel very stable rather than having that roundedness. So as your hips are coming down, think of pulling your shoulder blades together and down that's going to cause the, the chest to lift, but it doesn't elongate our motion or lift our arms. It's just going to be in that neutral rib cage, getting that more in a neutral position. Okay, so last time, and then I'll quit yapping and you can do this yourself, is hands on the bar. We lift on the bar, I take a big breath. I would hold that breath rather than talk, and then I would drive my knees out as I pull my shoulder blades together and down, and then drive to the top. Okay, give that a try, and that should definitely make it feel stronger out of the bottom and more hip and thigh focused rather than having that stress in the mid-back. Cool, give it a try, good luck, let me know how it goes.